I've worked out that one joist, how I'm going to build this uh, stood wall. Anything. I haven't finished the job yet, because I run out of wood. And also here, this is where the door is going to be, it is not finished. I've, I just got the door casing. So I'll try to explain here um, how I'm going to build this uh, stud wall. So the stud wall is going to run, as you'll see, from here down to there. But it's not going to be on a straight line because I mean I could make it into a straight line. So from there straight through there with the door going through there. So. The problem with this is that what I'd like to do is just gain a bit of more room for more space. For this room over there, that one is going to be blocked off, so that's going to be a wall. Uh, borrowing a bit of space through there. So if I made it into a straight line with a door here, I still have a bit of dead space here. So what I'll do is, uh, what I'll try to do is just go the door here. Then I'm going to bit, go a bit out and get back in there. So it's not going to be a straight line uh, because I'd like to, to borrow as much space as visible from this uh, corridor because that's going to be dead space. Even, I mean, for uh, the HMO purposes of this house, even if I made it into a straight line, it will comply with the space requirements. It's far more than 6.5 square meters, so I, I would be okay. But since it's my house, it's going to be within the family for many years to come up until I drop dead, so I'd rather get the maximum out of the space I've got. So, now, what I've done, first of all, I worked out, I mean, I inspected the floor to see where the joists are. For some reason, the joists are. I haven't uh, lifted um, these, uh, what do you call it, these, uh, these floorboards up. But I mean, using that thing, uh, I just uh, slid it through, so I managed to find the joists. So it's kind of strange the, the way the joists have been, um, have been laid out here. I don't know why and the how, but why is it important that you know where the joists are? Because the frame has to sit down on the joists, not on the the, 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 the floorboard. So they have to sit, ideally the, the frame has to sit into something that's solid, not on the floorboard. So what I'll do is, I'll, I've worked out that one joist, I'll show you here, one joist is here, because here I cannot go down, it's still here, I cannot go through, if I try to do this, it just doesn't go through, 
the one, jo one joist is there. So it's there. It's still there. So, but then, for some reason it stops. I don't know exactly, maybe there's uh, something underneath that. Uh, it's a, some arrangement that I don't see here, but I'm quite confident that the, there is a joist there. Quite confident of that. So when I'm going to screw it in, I'm just going to screw through that joist. But here, it doesn't go straight for some reason, it's nothing. But then the next joist is here. So I don't know exactly how it's, uh, it's built. I don't need to see it, but it's run all the way through there. And then you see also in the joint between the two floorboards. So, uh, what you've got to do is just work out in your head first how you're going to, to build it. So what I'll do is I'm going to build the first frame of the, the width of the door that goes from there all the way up to the ceiling and down that's going to accommodate, say for example, that the, the frame of the door. Okay, so I've calculated that, I know the me measurement, so that's what I'll do and this is what you, you'll see me doing. But but um, the frame is going to sit directly onto that joist there. And here, when it comes to here, um, uh, it comes to here because it's going to be a straight line, it's around about 80, 86 centimeters. Uh, I can't remember uh, exactly, now I have to re redo the calculation. But here, it's going to sit on another bit of timber that is going to grow go this way. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll, I'll make that frame first. Make that frame, attach it temporarily, and then I will, want, so I'll know exactly where it's going to sit. Then I'm going to lay down that bit of timber and I'll touch it to um, the joist. I'll just screw it down to the joist. Uh, and then, at that point, I'll just uh, get that frame up and fixed. One leg is going to sit on the timber, as you'll see, and the other one is going to sit just on the floorboard. But I'll, uh, I'll make it so that is going to be fixed into the joist that is there and it's going to be a bit challenging because uh, um, the screws have got to go that way so we'll see how I'm going to be able to do it uh, may not be able to do it, I have to to see how we're, uh, we're going to sort it out or pretty much maybe I don't even need to do it because that leg, the, the whole weight of that leg is going to sit on, on this wall. Now that I think about it, the whole leg is going to sit on this wall. So the weight is going to be taken by this wall. So I don't even need to, to get screw it into, into that bit of joist there now that I think of it. So it's going to be well uh, taken. The, the weight of that uh, leg is going to be taken by that wall, by the brick wall. The other one is going to be taken by a bit of timber which is going to sit on one of the joists so it's going to be well solid and you'll see the the construction as we go along along okay
so this is the the stud wall so far you can see the uh, all these uh, these bits here these are only to, to make sure that the frame is quite, is quite sturdy it doesn't, doesn't vibrate or anything I haven't finished the job yet because I ran out of wood and also here this is where the door is going to be this is not finished I, I just bought the door casing so I will continue once I fit the door casing uh, because I want to build that part up um, to tie it in with the door casing, the far door casing. And obviously as I finish that then I finish off this bit and I keep getting more bits here. Um, and again remember these are pretty much redundant and not really needed. I just uh, I just use them because it's something that uh, well, I like all my assets to have very strong structures. Even if I didn't put them, I'm sure it's going to be more than fine, but uh, I want to make sure that uh, the family ha assets, there's going to be one of them, are going to be there, uh, well made forever, so my children going forward can take it over uh, without any major issues. So everything is done well and it's done once, that's very, very important to me. So for uh, for the future, so we're going to see the continuation of this once start getting the, the door keys in there. So thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to invest with us in this sort of projects, we'll give you 6 to 10% return on your money. So if you have cash and you want it to work hard for you, invest with us. Invest with Ariton and Andreas Investments Limited in this type of projects. So we'll give you between 6 and 10% on your money. For more information, get in touch with us.